U nastavku slijedi najavljeni intervju s predsjednikom Haškog tribunala Teodorom Meronom. Razgovarala kolegica Džina Mojkić. Mr. Meron, you were in Tomasica yesterday. What was your first feeling after you've seen a misgrave and now a de Ueto? What is your impression? It was a terrible shock. It was horror to see those tremendous, tremendous area which was full of bodies. You could not help but think of executions and also of the crime of hiding the bodies, of people not having individual graves, of families not being able to go and visit the tombs of their dear ones. It shows uh, what uh, terrible things can be done by human beings to human beings. At one point, some governments in the former Yugoslavia criticized this regarding the work of the court, and non-government sector spoke commendable of the court. Now the situation is reversed. What is your opinion? Um, NGOs typically represent victims. It is quite natural that uh, organizations of victims will not necessarily approve of every single decision. But the fact is that Bosniak NGOs and Serb NGOs and Croat NGOs see things differently. Of course, we are very sad when people are not pleased by the result of our work, but it would be the end of international criminal justice if we would not follow a strictly legal agenda that was given to us. I am very proud of the fact that in every judgment, even the most difficult one, we work according to the principles of due process and fairness. And I have no doubt that history will judge us primarily on the basis of this question. Have we judged fairly? Have we judged objectively? Have we judged neutrally? And I'm sure that we have. Uh, how do you explain, and there have been cases, the defendant in the first instance was sentenced to 20 years, but the appeals chamber released him right after? Well, there have been very few <laughs> cases, very, very few cases where, in fact, judgments of, or verdicts or sentences of the trial chamber have been reversed. Why do we have, in the entire international system, international as, dom as domestic, courts of appeal to give a second, to have a second look at something, um, uh, to make sure that justice is done. This is the object of appeals court everywhere. But please remember that it's very rare that, in fact, we reverse the judgment. So, Judge Maron, you believe that the tribunal uh, from former Yugoslavia sent a proper message to the region and to the international community? Yes, it does. The one thing that I very much hope is that our judgments will contribute to healing in the former Yugoslavia. Because when I'm here and I hear comments, I see still so much animosity between the various ethnic groups. I understand their pain because the events that happened here were really terrible events. Together with the example given by the ICTY in The Hague will eventually bring healing of wounds of the past and getting together and seeing of peoples here and ethnic groups and seeing greater and faster reconciliation of people. Uh, how do you look at the current charges, critics that were brought by Judge Harfal upon you in relation to your involvement of influencing the tribunal to change its relations to command the responsibility? In I fact, this let charge me, upon let you... Let me interrupt you. I never answer or make comments on what my Danish colleague wanted to say about me and some other colleagues of the tribunal. So no sense in asking me because I never do that and I will not make an exception even for a very nice person like you. Thank you. Mr. Meron, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming.